Hi, it's Pete Dorsted here. Uh, let's go through the morning markets. Go to pre-match to play. Morning footy. And what I do, I, I sort the highest trading gains to the lowest trading gains. Obviously, the more money that's coming in and out of the market, the easier. And then we'll go through and have a look. Start with Arsenal Brighton. Uh, just to, for anybody that's not sure here. This is the Betfair price, 1.3. That's the pinnacle price. If we see the pinnacle price is lower, it'll be highlighted in orange here. And that, that's a time to get involved. Let's have a look at this. See, out of here, 280,000, 209,000 has been matched on Arsenal. So they've taken 74.7% of the book. Their implied price, 1.39, is 71.94. So they've taken 2.76 difference. Where we see blue... Implied difference now, book difference now, it suggests the price is coming in. Where we see pink, it suggests the price is drifting. Not really much here, I can say really. The possibility is Arsenal's price could come in a couple of ticks, but it, that's nothing that I'd be interested in at the moment. Leicester Aston Villa, as we can see, 196 here, 19 pinnacle. Yeah, Villa here, yeah, look, they've, uh, you can see early in the morning, they're 1.85, they've drifted out now to 1.97, however, it's turned blue, so it's, it, it may have hit a peak here, um, that's one to look out for, because that could come back in again, they've taken a hell of a lot more of the book, 200, uh, uh, of 245,000, they've taken 207,000, they've taken 84% of the book, um, Yes, that that's one I would keep an eye out. That they could they could probably hit a resistance here at one point nine seven. <coughs> Stam uh, Manchester City here. Manchester City looking nothing really there. Bologna v Empoli. Quite a bit of money matched on this game. Bologna taking 30% more of the book than their implied price. And as you can see, the money is strengthening. So that's always a good sign. When it started at minus 11.98, now 29.16 the difference. So, so Bologna are attracting money. Um, Betfair price, 1.7, Pinnacle's price, sorry, 1.76. That could be one to keep an eye on. If this starts turning blue, like in the next half hour, 7.30, 8 o'clock, this starts turning blue, then Bologna could be could be one to, to have a look at. Everton, Bournemouth. Interesting to see Everton have gone through the three here. We can see that it's solid blue here. And here with Bournemouth, 2.58, 2.6. Quite interesting here. You see that Everton solid blue, pink and blue here. It's, it's just that they've gone through this. They're now starting to trade at 2.98. Let's have a look at the pinnacle prices. 2.91, 2.5. It's it's a it's a difficult call, but I would suggest here that that there's a possibility that Bournemouth could could drift here, with Everton showing. And now that they've gone through that three, if they start taking money there, I I, I think Bournemouth could drift. So to me, I'd lay Bournemouth at 2.6 with a stop loss at 2.54. That that's what my thoughts are at the moment. Make a note of that one. This is another one, Mallorca. Solid blue, apart from a little dabble of pink here. 3.1, 3.3, 3. they've gone at like 2.98. That again, but as we see, the guys, I, I, this is a tight one, this is. Look at the draw, all, all roughly the same price. Let's have a look at uh, 
that's a difficult one to call. 2.96, 2.92. I think Mallorca could come in here. I think they could come in. The only trouble is, obviously, you're backing at 2.98. You know, you, you're having to put a stop loss at 3.05, 3.1. And, and you, you, when you start dealing with those increments, you're starting to lose a lot more. Like if it goes back to, say, like 3.10, you've got 12 you know, ticks, so you're going to lose, you know, if you're read out, you lose four ticks, it, it's, it's a little bit more than I would like, but I can see Mallorca coming in. Brentford, Southampton, 1.86, they look as though they're, you know, they're sort of fading, drifting slightly, not solid though. Ipswich, Fulham. Ipswich taking, uh, sorry, Fulham taking 64% uh, of the book. It's fairly steady. Fulham's price is steady here, and they are starting to get a lot of blue. If this uh, starts turning all blue here, then, yeah, you know, Fulham could be one to get on. Again, this is... 2.41 yeah it's it's not a bad one that could start turning old blue they're, they're taking the consistent money you know I can see Fulham there coming in you would put uh, you go in at 2.46 and you put a stop loss at 2.52 Sunderland. Yeah, Sunderland are taking a lot of the book there. They're taking 90% of the book. Wow. It's come in slightly. You know, you, you, you can't see anything else but that sort of, you know, that, that level coming in. People are back in, are back in Sunderland there, depending on where, you know, obviously they go. Let's have a look at the current pinnacle price two point zero eight so mm, I'm not you know that's what they're sort of showing here. I don't know. I don't know but they've taken taken an awful lot of the book there. Bremen v Dortmund. There's solid nothing much that money's coming in. It's strengthening for Dortmund, but I'd want to see this old blue before I back them. Again, this is a case of, you know, you're having to go, you know, go through the, basically, you know, keep an eye on this during the morning. And, and, and because this changes, like I say, every half hour. Forest taking a lot more of the book, seventy two percent of the book against Wolves. Price is, is 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 fairly consistent. Two point zero one on on Pinnacle. I, I think if that goes under evens on Pinnacle, that might be worth looking at. This starts turning blue. Nothing much is happening here. It's fairly solid. So again, if that turns all blue, they take more of the book. The forest price, I, I can see, you know, I can see that one coming in. I think. See, Blackburn, they take more of the book here, but they're drifting out. You see, this is solid blue here for Burnley. They've only taken 31% of the, of the book, but it's solid blue. You know, I, I can see that price coming in. They've gone through the two mark. The 
fifty thousand pounds on this Turkish game here. Obviously, they were at one point four. Not so interested in this one. Yeah, you see, they're very close again here. Very close. There's blue starting to form here for Villarreal, but you know maybe they've, you know maybe this is their two point eight two is maybe their resistance point. Let's just have a look at one or two more of these. Cardiff Middlesbrough, that's interesting. Two point zero two, they've gone up to two point zero four. They've taken a lot more of the book. With the pinnacle price being one point nine, I would say that if this goes Below evens, I think this could get there. It's, it's it's an interesting one. Again, I think I think I don't think I think there's worse there's worse ones to have there. Let's just have a look at the market. Yeah, so you'd be able to back them at two point zero four. You'd you'd put your stop loss at two point one zero. I like the fact one point nine three. So they have come out a little bit, but they're still under. There's still quite a bit, quite a bit of difference there in Middlesbrough Cardiff. I quite like that one. What I do find quite interesting today. We let's just have a look at these. Let's have a look at the German games. Well, sometimes we do very well in Germany. But there just doesn't seem to be the money around in Germany. 15,000, 30,000. But these can be good movers, some of these. Let's have a look at this. Bochum versus Mönchengladbach. There's only 12,000 in there, though. That's the... You see, that's good. 2.62, 2.58. Let's have a look here. I like the way that this is all blue. And I like the sort of price that this could come in. Let's have a look at the... The only trouble, of course, is, is, the, is the liquidity here. Two point five. A little bit gappy. You see, you're not going to get much money on there. You could, you know, you can get small stakes on. You can get maybe a couple of hundred quid on at two point five six. I can see Munch and Gladback coming in. I can, but these these markets are quite low. Normally, they're a little bit, you know, a little bit more resilient. And you know, in some of these leagues, that the, you know, it, it isn't good. Right, so let's try and get this then into some sort of order. That was interesting, that Lugano's Mallorca. But I, I, the, the problem is, like I say, when you're dealing with these at three, they've got to come in. That the otherwise, you, 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 you know, you, if it goes, if the trade goes against you, it's not good. Um. Sunderland taking a lot of the book. I'm not so interested in them. I think Knight and Forest are interesting. Knight and Forest, you'd be getting in at 2.10 and your stop loss will be 2.16. I think that can come in.
Fulham is one to keep an eye at. You, you put your stop loss to, well, going at 2.46, put your stop loss at 2.52. I need to have a look at that one. Yeah, 2.46, stop loss, 2.52. This Middlesbrough one, it, it, it looks interesting to me. It's just the fact that, that, that there's, there's such that difference. It, it's I know it's gone blue, I know this is pink, but they've taken more of the book and it, I just feel as though that's going to turn and, and, and we're going to get something there. Yeah, you get on a 2.02 or 2.04, sorry, with a 2.010 stop loss. So yeah, so I, like I said, I think there's interest there in Forest. Um, I think there's interest in Fulham, and I think there's interest in Middlesbrough. I do also, I do quite like uh, Munch and Gladbach here, but the problem is, is the money. The money just is not there. You know, get, like I say, you're getting at 2.56, stop loss 2.62, but what concerns me is that you get it is actually, you can't get, you know, don't think you're going to be able to put £1,000 into that market at 2.56. But that ain't going to work. You can see by the money there that that, that is not going to work. So you're looking at, you know, maybe putting, you know, 100 quid in. It could go down. You know, I mean, if that went down to 2.4, 2.3, you know, you've, you've got yourself 20 odd quid riding on Munch and Gladbach or, or, or equating out. So it's nothing, nothing to be sniffed at. You just can't get the big money in like you could. Anyway, I'll put those four up as, as suggestions and... Uh, I'll be back later. I hope that was some news. Thank you.